fear the unknown. Fear your dreams. Fear what's real. Fear what hides in the shadows. Mike Horan's Remnant. Coming soon. Okay, welcome back to Revenant HQ video podcast number four as we explore the production of our feature film Remnant. I'm Mike Horan, director of Outlaw Films and executive producer, writer and director of Remnant. Today is the first of our video chats with the cast of Remnant. With me today is producer and editor Andrew Davis and one of our wonderful lead actors, Megan Bell. Welcome to both of you. Morning, Mike. Morning, Megan. Morning, How are you doing? <laughs> Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Very excited, very nervous. <laughs> You don't know, you need to be, you'll be a wonderful job, wonderful job. So let's have a look. So Megan is playing the role of Grace Wheeler. Um, so how does it feel to be playing one of the lead roles in a feature film? Oh gosh, I wish I had like one fantastic word I could use, but I think joyous, excited, thrilled, scared, all like, it's, it's wonderful. I don't think it's fully like sunk in yet. I think when I get on set and I'm like, oh, Okay, it will it'll hit, but um, mm. it's there's no a bit I, blur at the moment, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's just with COVID as well and not being able to see everyone in person, it's mm. still like a little bit. Ah, oh, but I'm I'm thrilled. I'm so excited. I'm I'm so grateful and happy and and everything else in between, I guess. Oh, look, we're we're excited to have you there. Yeah, for sure, we really are. We really are. <laughs> so, Megan, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Like, what inspired you to become an actor in the first place? Is there a particular actor or that has influenced you or inspired you in that regard? Oh, this question. Why is it when someone says, tell me about yourself, all you can remember is your age <laughs> the way you live? Because that's what you <laughs> mean. <laughs> <laughs> 23 um, actors. Gosh. See, it changes. It changes um, on, on what I'm watching as well. But I do have favourite actors and actresses. It's a bit of an odd one, but um, mm. John Travolta is one of my favourite actors. I think that's because Grease is my favourite film which actually might be one of you know one of the reasons why I wanted to be an actress I love Greece I love the way Greece made me feel I, I loved everything so not so much Olivia Newton-John or John Travolta oh, yeah <laughs> I mean That's I can't be so the musical part of it probably not ideal but um yeah look I love actors you know it, it I guess it depends on what I'm watching I get very inspired mm. on who I'm watching in the time like um yeah I just watched, well, not just, I just, um, you know, A Quiet Place with Emily Blunt. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. I love her. I love Emily Oh, she's, her. she's yeah. beautiful. Emma Stone, um, Florence Pugh as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Black Didn't Izzy, she put Florence Pugh down as one she of did her too. favorites too. Yeah. I love, yeah. and I, she's, um, I think the thing that I love about her is she just feels so real. Like I watch her on Instagram and it's just like, she's the same person no matter what. And I just love that about her. And the, and the amount of um, flack that she gets from filmmakers too about losing weight and things oh, like that. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's just it's just incredible the amount of pressure that is on an actor, and especially if, especially a female actor, um, to have to lose weight and have to you know. I mean, it's, it's it's you think those days are gone, but they haven't unfortunately. And I love that her attitude towards that is just. I mean, she's just a great role uh, role, role model, and it's the same as um, Jennifer Lawrence from Hunger Games. Oh, yes. The same feedback which is just horrible but yeah exactly exactly so when you because we we you know we advertised a lot on um facebook and different film pages and things like that we, and which is where we put the the ads out for the auditions so what is it in particular about or what drew you to 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 the film firstly and also in particular to the character of grace okay, yeah gosh I remember seeing the casting call. I think it was in Casting Calls Australia. Uh, I think it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I saw it at work. 
and I wasn't allowed to be on my phone, but I was. <laughs> Sorry, and I quickly saved. Just like a peek there. <laughs> I saved it to um, like on Facebook and save like ads and things like that. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get home and I need to send in um, my application. And I went home, and I read it. And when I saw sci-fi thriller, I was like, oh, this is me. This is everything I want. <laughs> I, I love sci-fi. Um, Ex Machina is like one of my favorite movies. Oh yeah. Oh yes, yes. I agree with you there. I agree with you there. And then, um, you know, obviously, I, I got the opportunity to audition with Grace and Kate. Um, straight off the bat, I think Grace just felt like everything about her. She's so strong, and like if I had one word to describe her, it would be she's strong. Like that's mm. Mm. I think. And um, when I was playing her, it just felt like I felt like I can. I can do this girl justice. I think I can bring her to life. And and although I haven't gone through the things that Grace is about to and has gone through, mm-hmm. I I want to do her justice and I want to bring her to life. And I just connected with her straight away. I think. Yeah, because because yeah. she just a role that was written yeah. to be physically and pretty emotionally yes. demanding right. as well. So yeah. yeah. So as an actor, what sort of process do you go through getting to invested in the character like that? Mm. Yeah, when I read the script, I was like, oh, okay. Um, physically, I have been doing a lot of running because <laughs> Grace, um, without giving anything away, does a, does a fair bit of, of running. So I'm getting more fit so that in between takes, I'm not dying. Um, <laughs> um, but Ooh, We the- should be doing the same thing. <laughs> we ourselves active. We do like um, cast and crew jogs. Like yes, exactly. Exactly. We'll do it via Zoom so we can walk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll just get treadmills. And- <laughs> um, the emotional... The emotional aspect is, is I won't lie, it's probably going to be the toughest part, but I was speaking with my um, my mentor and my coach, Phil, and he said, use tools like music, for example. Mm-hmm. Music helps me feel certain ways. Like, I don't know what it is, but if I'm upset and I listen to a song that makes me more upset, I feel better. Like, it, it's exactly. like, oh, this is helping me let it so out. Two negatives make a positive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, um, for me, I know one tool that I'm definitely going to use on set to um, to get myself in to where I need to be is music and just trying to find my own trigger trigger points, yeah. I suppose. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And that's what you've got to do, really, is, 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 is find your own way yeah. through yeah. it as well because, I mean, it is a very demanding role <laughs> and there's a lot on your shoulders as an actress as well to you know yeah. to, to carry this character right through the through this journey as well isn't it 100 percent. and i think when i first got the role of grace obviously it was like oh my gosh this is unbelievable and then i started to get stressed because i was like i need to you know bring this character to life and carry this character and my acting coach said to me he was like megan there is so many other people involved in this production. You're just one person. You all mm. will be together. You work together. Exactly. You, you know, it, 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 for the director, the writer, the, the um, actress or actor next to me, you know, we all work together to create this. It's not just on me. And I think that's the beauty of, of Remnant is our cast and crew, they're unbelievable. And we all want the same thing. And I think, mm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I see it as, you know, that we're like a family, really. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're a family. We're there to protect each other. We're there to get the, the, the best out of each other. And, and I think that, that means that people are going to want to put more into it as well. But we're not a cult, so we just want to stress no, that no. point. Oh, we're, we're not a cult. Oh, damn, I thought we were. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm disappointed now. I thought that's what we were going then, for. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, having having a great cast is... Yeah is going to help a lot and, and we've we got the best cast i mean oh, it's, we do. it's incredible actually okay. I, i'm so amazed with with the quality that we've that, that we've been able to get and uh, it's... No, we, we just spent um at the cast we all were on a zoom call like a week ago or so i think we're on there for like three hours god knows what oh, we're yeah. i think we spoke about remnant at some point but <laughs> <laughs> the rest was just like it was just yeah. great it was so wholesome and it was like holy holy crap we get to to make a movie with these these people that we've never met before and suddenly we're all so close and mm. it's, yeah, it's great. Which is exactly what we want. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly yeah. what we wanted. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about COVID and we've talked about it um, off camera before and everything else too. And, um, you know, and generally now the audition process has changed a lot, uh, you know, from, you know, face to face, which, you know, we would have preferred that because it's, it's such a, 
more an even, um, you know, field as far as, you know, being able to, you know, do one-on-one -on -one and then give suggestions and, and, and bounce things back, you know, for the audition process. A lot different when you're doing it as a Zoom call, isn't it? Mm. Oh, yes. It's very different. Um, it's very bittersweet. Obviously, as actors, we, we have to evolve with, with the industry and how things are. And self-tapes are fantastic because the element of nervousness goes out the window. Yeah. Because you're not, you're not in front of the directors and the writers and the um, gosh, the, direct, the casting director and all that sort of stuff. But there's it's hard to describe. When you're in person, it's just it's a whole different experience because yeah. you don't get 15 takes. You get one or two takes. You go in, you leave everything at the door and you just do what you can and then you walk away. Yeah. And you get to meet, you know, you get to meet everyone in person and, and that energy because obviously you want to like who you're working with at the end of the day as well. Um, but with self-tapes, you know, we're very fortunate because we're able to audition. Like I was able to audition for something in Sydney where I may not have been able to get down there because of COVID. That's right. Um, mm. But yeah, with, with self-tapes, you know, you do so many takes and, and I find that you watch yourself more and you judge yourself more. And But all in all, I think it's very bittersweet. The nervousness part is is taken out of it and you, you get more opportunity to put your best self forward in every day. Yeah, yeah. well, that certainly showed in your audition. Just oh. like watching it with Mike. So, oh, so yeah, we were very impressed. So, um, yeah, we're not going to lie. It's got a, you got a lot of competition between you and Izzy and Django and Nicole as yeah. well. You could be talking yeah. about between years, I think. So yeah. And we made the comment. Yeah, and we, we we spoke about it in, in in the second episode. We were talking about the script and 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 talking about the audition process. I think that was in the episode three. Yeah. And um, talking about that, you know, you're watching these these actors putting everything into it, and our cast all put so much into it that one, it let, you know, it made the hairs on the back of our neck stand up, and and two, and I said to Izzy yesterday, I said I was in. I was in tears through mm. parts of your audition and Izzy's audition, and um, and I thought, oh, I wrote this, and if this is sort of the feeling I'm getting from that, yeah. you know, hey, we've we've got the perfect cast. They're meant to be these characters. Yeah, that's what we knew, wasn't it? When, it was when Mike started crying. That's when. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. I kept blubbering like a baby. It's just what so I. So you know that on set, Megan, when uh, Mike starts crying. And... Yes, you know that doing well. Yes. <laughs> You've done it again. You made me cry. I do it. We probably will be too. Actually, that that's yeah. probably what's going to happen. <laughs> it's amazing, though. I mean, the amount of actors and um, actresses that you would have seen doing the same thing over and over again, and then to see certain people do it that makes you feel something. I mean, that's our job at the end of the day. We want to make you feel, and you know, to you want to make us cry. Yes. <laughs> Yes. You have to cry. If you don't cry, leave the cinema <laughs> exactly. right now. <laughs> but yeah, no. So thank you. That's that's a lovely, um, lovely. Oh, that. and and very very true too. So what else is there? Anything else about the character of Grace that you would you'd like to talk talk about? Um. Oh gosh, Grace. Because I mean, she does have that strength, and that and you brought you mentioned that in the beginning too. But there is also that vulnerability as well, isn't there? You know, mm -hmm. and 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 her belief in people, you know, in other people and that type of thing as well. No, um, see, when I think of Grace, I just think of someone that is always willing to make other people happy over herself. That's yeah. how I think she feels. And I, what I enjoy most about Grace, again, without giving too much away, is that through the film, I think she gets stronger in herself and what she wants and, yeah. and what she believes in and standing up for what's right. and you know it's hard to talk about her without giving mm. too much away no, that's interesting that you brought that up because mm. that's when i first read the script after mike sent it to me that's what i sort of observed as well as a yeah. thing about grace like she's really puts everyone else before herself and that's sort of a blessing and a curse in a way like she's got the, yeah, the personality exactly. yeah exactly and you know to go what grace has gone through and will go through and to still be standing and fighting is just mm. admirable mm. And I, you know, that's someone that I would, I would look up to and want to be like. So, no, I can't observation, wait. Observation, yeah. Yeah, to do her justice and, and to. It's crazy when when you get cast in, in a role like this, you start to think like the character. Like certain situations will happen in in my real life, and and I feel like, oh, how would Grace react to this? Or how, you know, like you start to morph into into the character. Well, yeah, you're becoming the character. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's exciting. 
But thanks so much for today. Thank you. Um, do you have any last words you want to sort of ask Megan, Andrew? Um, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so, this is my first ever like podcast interview. So I'm just like, oh my gosh. That's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, but um, thank you for having me, guys. I'm so excited. Fingers crossed that, you know, lockdown lifts soon for yourselves and for us as well. Oh, oh exactly. yeah, keep chipping away. But, um, yeah. You know, so yeah. There's many thank things we can be doing in the meantime. But um, yeah, <laughs> thanks for coming on and thanks for talking. Oh, thank you for oh no, thank you. For, thank you very much. No, we really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. You've given me something to do on my lockdown Sunday. So. <laughs> <laughs> and us too. Exciting. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely. I'm so excited and keep doing the work you guys are doing. We appreciate we it. Will. So oh, we so certainly will. We're, yes, yeah. we're, we're, we're going all the way through with this. It's good. We can't wait. Can't wait to get started on it. So uh, in our next episode, we'll be we'll be chatting with Isabel Wiskoff and uh, we'll be who play, who's playing the role of um, Grace's best friend, Kate. So thanks, everyone, for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks again. Uh, thanks, thanks, Megan. Thanks, Mike.